today I'm learning to do something that I don't know how to do and I'm going to hopefully learn it by doing it. We're trying to figure out a way to put videos up to our parents of students that don't have English as their primary language so that if we're sending instructions or if we're sending information that they have the opportunity to at least view it or hear it or read it in their own language. So my hope is that this video, when I post it on YouTube, I'm going to turn on the closed captioning, and then I believe that we can change the language of the closed captioning to other languages. So I'm making it short and sweet, and we'll see how this goes. Fingers crossed. So today I'm all right, so I'm going to turn down the volume because now what I've done is I've created the video and I've uploaded it to YouTube. I've waited a little bit amount of time because it might take some time to process, especially to process the HD version. But now I've turned down the volume so you don't have to listen to my video talk again. But I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on closed captioning. It'll put the little red line underneath it to let you know. And it's already starting to show some of the text. So when I hit play, learning to do something it starts putting the closed captioning in in English. So that's the starting point, at least to know that the closed captioning is working. And now I'm gonna go over here to the cogwheel to change the settings. So when I click on the cogwheel, right now it says subtitles and closed captioning is in English and it's auto-generated. I could also upload a script, so if it's inaccurate, that um, I can make that correct but I've already watched it and it's, it's, it came out fine. So now I'm gonna to go to the arrow here and I'm gonna go down to auto translate. And I get a list of the available languages that I can choose from. So in this case, I'll click on French and then it automatically now has changed the closed captioning to French. So when I hit play, It's still my voice talking in English, but at least now the closed captioning can be in a preferred language for someone whose first language is not English. So hopefully this will be an opportunity for teachers to provide information to families and uh, make it easier for them to be able to understand. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We can troubleshoot together. And um, thanks for listening.